Hello, Cameron here. Daisy recently released a stress test to the public and the response was pretty incredible. It was number two on Twitch and I thought this would be a good time to discuss some gameplay features that I would love to see in the future. Not necessarily talking about what .63 did or did not have, but more so highlighting some things that I think would bring a higher gameplay experience. So let me know what you think. The first thing I like to discuss is adrenaline, as I feel with the new stamina system it really has a place. Adrenaline is your body's response to any danger that comes at you, whether that be guns or a wild animal attack, maybe when you get shot at or if someone hits you with blunt trauma. Uh, you get an adrenaline rush which elevates your stamina for a short time, maybe it increases your movement speed, and maybe it even makes you hit harder. One of the key things adrenaline helps people with in a real life or death situation is the ability to block out pain. Now, let's say for the sake of this discussion, there are only three stages of trauma in Daisy: Stage 1, Stage 2, and Stage 3. Maybe instead of after taking a shot to the belly, you going immediately to Stage 3, you go to Stage 2 and there's a phase where you slowly morph into Stage 3 and the pain slowly sets in. Not only do I think this would do a lot for actual combat in the game, but I think it adds to the immersion, which is a win-win in my book. I know nothing of coding, and I know nothing of how difficult this would be to emplace in the game, or how easy it would be for that matter, but it's just a suggestion that I think could be really cool. So on to the next one. The next thing I want to discuss are cameras. And no, not DSLR cameras like the one I terribly photoshopped here, but Polaroid cameras. Daisy has a beautiful environment, so beautiful in fact that I often find myself just taking screenshots as I go through the land. Imagine if I could save those memories, those screenshots, on my character in his inventory to share with others. Not only would it connect the community, but imagine you shoot someone down. You go to check their inventory and you see that they have a 19 stack of Polaroid shots. You look through their Polaroid pictures and find this person was evil. I did a good thing, I killed a bad person here. They, maybe they have people being tortured, maybe they have gun pointed to someone's head for no reason. Maybe at the bottom you can even title them so people could give a feel for what the climate was at the time of the picture. Another thing I'd like to see is maybe you can nail them to a door. So when space building becomes a thing, you can let someone know that you have a hostage and you give a location at the bottom of the picture. All in all, I think it would add a lot to the gameplay experience and also give your character more feel and depth. The last thing I want to talk about are games, and this can range from chess to connect forward to card games to Chinese checkers to backgammon to any dominoes, anything you can think of, any game. I understand there are other things that are more important right now, and I am not saying this should take priority by any means, but what I'm suggesting is that at the end of your gameplay experience in DayZ, you've collected all of the gear that you like, you've decked yourself out, you've helped out players, you've built a base, what's next? Do you go play something else or do you continue in the experience just riding the wave that you're currently on? I personally feel that adding something like chess pieces that you find individually in the game and have to compile to make a full set in order to experience the gaming game could really give players something to drive for and a goal that's really far and out of reach but that can be attained through hours of dedication. I know some of you are watching this and know me and are thinking, well, you're a chess teacher, you're biased. I absolutely am. I think it would add to the gameplay, it would add to the engagement between players. Two players could really go out and make this an ambition of theirs to find a chess set and it could take them hours of dedication and just raw drive to get through and make that happen in the midst of this apocalypse. So with that being said, those are just three things that I would really like to see in DayZ someday. Let me know if you guys think that they are good ideas or bad ideas, somewhere in between. Maybe you're unsure, maybe you're undecided. Just let me know. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye-bye.